Hello, this is Stephen Burns from Chromolution.com, and I would like to share with you um, some, some wonderful new features in CS5 in relation to custom creating 3D objects. That's right. Adobe has basically given us a means to custom create 3D objects with the use of a program called Reposé. Now, I'm going to utilize what 3D modelers call splines and basically splines are lines, straight lines or curved lines in between points. Now as Photoshop users we call them paths. All right? And I created the initial paddle with the with the pen tool. The concept is I'm going to create a 3D object of a wooden paddle, basically going to be a cookie cutter paddle. So I'm going to cut out the shapes out of the wooden paddle and then in we're going to surface it. So in this tutorial we're going to create the 3D shape and the second tutorial we're going to resurface it to make it look like a actual wooden surface on the top sides and the bottom. Okay so let's start by creating our 3D shape. I have a layer with blue filled with blue keep this in mind because this is the layer that's actually going to be utilized to create the 3D shape. I also want to bring something else to your attention. Under the paths, we have the picture or the shape that we actually utilize. As a note, I created these custom shapes using the custom path option right over here on, on the toolbar. We're going to click the custom path right down here in the bottom and select on your options bar the custom shapes. So I have a variety of shapes. You can add more by selecting any of these presets and making sure you you append the presets to your standard shapes that came with Photoshop when you loaded it on. Alright, so I selected a variety of shapes and in this case I have a hand and rabbit and a picture of a man and so forth. Do whatever you like and, uh, and have fun with this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and commit this to a 3D object. Go back to my layers the top layer is filled with a, with a color. I kept the bottom layer as a bottom gray so that you can actually see a distinction between your 3D object and the holes in between the paddles. Let's go up in here to 3D and select Reposé. We're going to utilize what? We're going to utilize a path. So select a path and sit back and relax and watch Reposé dialog box convert this simple spline shape or path shape into a 3D object. Okay, there it is. Now, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And let's pull this up and let's rotate our 3D object slightly downward so we can see a little bit better what's going on here. So, the depth of my shape is a little bit too long, but you can see it basically honored the shape of my spline or my path it pretty accurately. It looks actually very very good. I'm quite happy with how Ripizé has um, has rendered this out. Now let's go ahead and, and decrease the depth. Now I, you can just click and drag this and you'll actually see the shape decrease in size. Now I've played around with this a little bit and I have found that if I go down to somewhere around about there seems like it's going to work real well. Let's go ahead and rotate it and take a look at the sides. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and keep that there. Now what about the shapes in the middle? It looks like we've lost that. Actually we haven't. We're going to tell Photoshop to, or Reposé to go in and select those individually and make a hole. Now let's go down to the bottom. It says internal constraints we have several options for our internal constraints. The internal constraints are basically those shapes that we created using the pen tool. Let's select the the um, not the slide but the move tool here and the pan tool and once selected watch as I mouse over the surface of my paddle. It's going to give me an outline of the objects as I mouse over them and one's going to be selected. Right now the rabbit is selected. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on it right under type. Instead of inactive we're going to select hole. And what Reposé is going to do is going to cut us a nice little hole out of there and we're going to have the, the first of our cookie cutter shape. There it is. Let's do it again. 
Let's mouse over the arrow. In fact, I tell you what, let's do the heart just for fun. And go right over here and select the hole. And we're going to sit back and relax and watch Repose does its thing. So now we start getting our basic concept of the, of the, of the wooden cookie cutter paddle. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select each one of these individually. Now we cannot multiple select. That would be nice if we could. Right now we can only select them individually. And that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, as you can see, everything is cut out accurately. I'm going to go to my rotation commands in your top left hand corner. We have all of our navigational tools exactly the way we have them in the tools bar um, on our to on the on the tools bar here for the 3D rotational tools. So I'm going to go right over here, select the rotation tool, and I'm going to rotate it up slightly because what I'd like to do is give it a slight bevel on the top. And in fact, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more so you can get a closer look of what's going to happen here. Now I'm going to give it a slight bevel. I want the bottom of the board to be a nice sharp edge, but I want the top of the board to be a slight bevel. We're going to put the cookie dough on the top and create the shapes. And, and this is going to be this is a little bit of too much of a sharp edge for my for my eyes so right over here under the bevel box I'm going to increase the height and I'm just going to click and hold on height and move the mouse over to the right and that's going to increase the height we're not seeing a whole lot of changes just yet until we start to add the width let's go ahead and create the width of the bevel and that's going to bring it in and see right there you saw it move there just a little bit and I brought, I'm going to bring the height up just a little bit more. It's beveling in slightly. And let's go ahead and bring the height just up slightly. And we're going to watch this. And what you should see, there it is. It just moved up slightly. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit more so that you get a better idea how this is working. And it moved up just a little bit slightly. So we have a slight bevel there. It's very thin. I don't want it really very thick, but you get, you're getting the idea that we can add bevel to anything. Now, Repose has given us several surfaces. One for the top, for the side, and for the bevel, as well as a surface for the bottom. We can alter these surfaces very quickly. Right up here, they're already defined. Front, bevel, sides, bevel 2. So let's go ahead and select the front and select a preset. This is very nice. We can have a, we have visual custom presets. It's actually going to give us the surface for the top. Now, what I like to do is give the bevel the same type of surface, and go right over here to bevel one and select it. And this will become the same orange texture that we have for the front. Now, let's go to the side. Let's give the side a slightly different texture. We'll go over the sides, select it. We'll grab this one here and sit back and relax and look how it works that quickly actually and we have a different surface for the sides a bevel and I'm gonna go down and do the bottom how about if we give the bottom basically it's designated as back and give it the same texture as we did for the front alright it's done alright looking pretty good now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna commit the changes here Click OK and watch Repose commit this to a standard 3D layer. All right, let's pull back a little bit. There we are. Let's take a look at our object. Go to our 3D navigational tools. Let's go to our 3D pan and we can move this around. And of course, our 3D rotational tool. And we can take a look at the top and bottom and sides. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. In the next video I'm going to show you how to come in and custom surface this with your own photographic textures. So if you want to get to know more about me and who I am please go to chromeillusion.com and be sure to take a look at the books and DVDs and uh, you can give you an idea of the latest books that I've just produced. The newest one is the Photoshop CS5 trickery and effect. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. I'm Stephen Burns and come back for the second video on custom creating or custom creating your texture surfaces on your 3D object.